Giuseppe, Joe the boss, Masria, Italian, D, Latin small letter S, U, modifier letter vertical line, Z, Latin small letter open A, P mass, modifier letter vertical line, Ria, January 17th, 1886, April 15th. 1931 was an early Italian-American mafia boss in New York City. He was boss of what is now called the Genovese crime family, one of the New York City mafia's five families, from 1922 to 1931. In 1930, he battled in the Castellammarese War to take over the criminal activities in New York City. The war ended with his murder on April 15, 1931, in a hit ordered by his own lieutenant, Charles Lucky Luciano, in an agreement with rival faction head, Salvatore Maranzano. Early life Giuseppe Masria was born on January 17, 1886 in Menfi, province of Agrigento, Sicily, in a family of tailors. When he was young, he moved to the town of Marsala, in the province of Trapani. Masria arrived in the United States in 1902. He then became part of the Morello crime family based in Harlem and parts of Little Italy in southern Manhattan. Masria was a contemporary of other captains of that mafia family such as Gaetano Reina. In 1909, Masria was convicted of burglary and received a suspended sentence. On May 23, 1913, Masria was sentenced to four to six years in prison for third-degree burglary. As the 1910s ended, Masria and boss Salvatore Di Aguila vied for power in New York. By the early 1920s, they were at war with each other. In 1920, Masria had recruited Lucky Luciano as one of his gunmen. Di Aguila also had a vicious gunman under him, Umberto Valenti, who was given the assignment to kill Masria. On May 7, 1922, the boss of the Morello Terranova crime family, Terranova, was killed in a drive-by shooting near his E. 116th Street home. Valenti was believed to have been personally responsible. Mere hours later, Terranova's underboss Silva Tagliagamba was fatally wounded in Lower Manhattan by Valenti and gunmen working for him. The next day, Valenti and some of his men attacked the new boss of the rival Terranova family, Masria. Valenti found Masria and his bodyguards on Grand Street, within a block of police headquarters. Masria got away, but the gunman had shot four men and two women. Masria tossed his pistol away and was arrested while fleeing the scene. On August 9, 1922, Masria walked out of his apartment at 802nd Avenue and was rushed by two armed men who opened fire on him. Masria ducked into a store at 82nd Avenue with the gunman in pursuit. They shot out the front window and shot up the inside of the store. The gunman fled across 2nd Avenue to a getaway car idling just around the corner on E. 5th Street. The car was a Hudson Cruiser. The gunman jumped on the running boards as the car sped west on E. 5th Street towards the Bowery, guns blazing. The gunman then plowed through a crowd and shot randomly at the blockade, wounding six men. Masria survived the incident and was found by police in his upstairs bedroom shell-shocked. He was sitting on his bed dazed, with two bullet holes through his straw hat, which he was still wearing on his head. The incident gained Masria new respect among gangsters as the man who can dodge bullets and his reputation began to rise as Diaguilas began to wane. 48 hours later, on August 11th, Valenti attended a meeting in a cafe at the corner of 2nd Avenue and E. 12th Street. Joe the boss in the Castellamarie's War, Masria became head of the Morello family, becoming known as Joe the Boss, with Giuseppe Morello as his consigliere. Salvatore Di Aguila was killed on October 10, 1928. Masria, the leader of a gang that emerged from the old Morello crime family, was selected to replace Di Aguila as the new Capo dei Capi that winter. After his elevation, Masria began applying pressure to other mafia gangs for monetary tributes. Other mobsters accused him of orchestrating the 1930 murders of Gaspar Milazzo in Detroit and Gaetano Reina in the Bronx.
Niccolò Shero tried to replicate the strategy of neutrality he used to deal with Diaguila with Masria, but he was vigorously opposed by Salvatore Maranzano and Buffalo boss Stefano Magadino. Masria claimed Shiro had committed a transgression and demanded Shiro pay him $10,000 and step down as leader of his mafia crime family. Shiro complied. Soon after, Vito Bonventre was murdered at his home on July 15, 1930. This led to Maranzano being elevated to boss of the gang and a conflict with Masria and his allies referred to as the Castellamarese War. During the Castellamarese War, between 1930 and 1931, Masria and Morello fought against a rival group based in Brooklyn, led by Salvatore Maranzano and Joseph Bonanno. Morello, an old hand in the killing game, became Masria's war chief and strategic advisor. One of the first victims of the war, Morello was killed along with associate Joseph Periano on August 15, 1930, while collecting cash receipts in his East Harlem office. Joseph Valici, the first made man in the American Mafia to turn state's evidence, identified Morello's killer as a Castellamarese gunman he knew as Buster from Chicago. Death in a secret deal with Maranzano, Lucky Luciano agreed to engineer the death of his boss, Masria, in return for receiving Masria's rackets and becoming Maranzano's second in command. Joe Adonis had joined the Masria faction and when Masria heard about Luciano's betrayal, he approached Adonis about killing Luciano. However, Adonis instead warned Luciano about the murder plot. On April 15th, 1931, Luciano had lured Masria to a meeting where he was murdered at a restaurant called Nuova Villa Tomorrow on Coney Island. While they played cards, Luciano allegedly excused himself to the bathroom, with the gunman reportedly being Albert Anastasia, Vito Genovese, Joe Adonis, and Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. Saro, the artichoke king, Terranova drove the getaway car, but legend has it that he was too shaken up to drive away and had to be shoved out of the driver's seat by Siegel. Luciano was brought in for questioning by the police. At the time, police suspected a gangster named John Silk Stockings Juastra as being one of the gunmen in Masria's murder. This was based on the report of a confidential informant and that one of the coats found at the murder scene was identified as belonging to Juastra. The case was dropped after Juastra was murdered on July 9, 1931. According to the New York Times, after that, the police have been unable to learn definitely what happened. Reputedly Masria was seated at a table playing cards with two or three unknown men when he was fired upon from behind. He died from gunshot wounds to his head, back, and chest. Masria's autopsy report shows that he died on an empty stomach. No witnesses came forward, though, two or three men were observed leaving the restaurant and getting into a stolen car. No one was convicted in Masria's murder as there were no witnesses and Luciano had an alibi. Masria is buried at Calvary Cemetery in Queens, New York. In popular culture. Films The Valachi Papers, 1972, portrayed by Alessandro Spurley Lucky Luciano, 1973, Masria was portrayed by Alessandro Spurley Mobsters, 1991, portrayed by Anthony Quinn Lansky, 1999, portrayed by Bill Capizzi Bonanno, A Godfather's Story, 1999, portrayed by Tony Calabretta. TV series Boardwalk Empire, 2010-2014, Masri is portrayed by Evo Nandi. His assassination is depicted as being carried out by Benny Siegel and Tonino Sandrelli. The Making of the Mob, New York, 2015, in this DOCU drama he is portrayed by Stelio Cervante, The Gangster Chronicles, 1981, in the NBC American crime drama miniseries, he is portrayed by Richard S. Castellano. See also Black Hand Extortion References Further reading Bernstein, Lee, The Greatest Menace, Organized Crime in Cold War America, Boston, UMass Press, 2002. ISBN 9780802.
1-55849-345-X Bonanno, Joseph. A Man of Honor. The Autobiography of Joseph Bonanno. New York. St. Martin's Press, 2003. ISBN 0-312-97923-1. Capisi, Jerry. The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Mafia. Indianapolis. Alpha Books, 2002. ISBN 0-02-864225-2. Critchley, David. The Origin of Organized Crime. The New York City Mafia, 1891-1931. New York, Routledge, 2008. Dash, Mike. The First Family, Terror, Extortion and the Birth of the American Mafia. London, Simon & Schuster, 2009. Davis, John H. Mafia Dynasty. The Rise and Fall of the Gambino Crime Family. New York. Harper Collins, 1993. ISBN 0-06-016357-7. Hortus, C. Alexander the Mob and the City. The Hidden History of How the Mafia Captured New York. Amherst, New York. Prometheus Books, 2014. Kobler, John. Capone. The Life and Times of Al Capone. New York. De Capo Press, 2003. ISBN 0-306-81285-1. Manion, James. 101 Things You Didn't Know About the Mafia. The Lowdown on Dons, Wise Guys, Squealers and Backstabbers. Avon, Massachusetts. Adams Media, 2005. ISBN 1-59337-267-1 Messig, Hank. Lansky. London. Robert Hale and Company, 1973. ISBN 0-7091-3966-7 Milhorn, H. Thomas. Crime. Computer Viruses to Twin Towers. Boca Raton, Florida. Universal Publishers, 2005. ISBN 1-58112-489-9 Peterson, Robert W. Crime and the American Response. New York. Facts on File, 1973. ISBN 0-87196-227-6 Ferrara, Eric. Gangsters, Murderers and Weirdos of the Lower East Side. A Self-Guided Walking Tour 2008 Volkman. Ernest Gangbusters, The Destruction of America's Last Great Mafia Dynasty, New York, Harper Collins, 1998.